won't let your guard down. We're not there yet, as Captain McMillan would say. And this is Crash, not Cod. Do, 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 do. Please don't die. Mm -hmm. oh, I need the blue gem for uh, Jaws of Darkness later on as well, that's right. That level's quite tricky. It's actually not as easy as it looks, it's actually quite hard. Also, did you know that... Uh, um, I think, I'm not 100% sure, but I think in the Japanese version of this game, Sunset Vista and Slippery Climb have uh, switched places. So in other words, you see Slippery Climb first, and then Sunset Vista. Oh, we're on a roll here. This is... I'm enjoying this so far. We're doing pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Yeah, I'll see if we can get to at least the third island, and then we'll stop. For the night. It's going very well so far. Ah, need the red gem for this one, I believe. Mm -hmm. From my favourite level in the game, not. Well, that was quick. And I must say, one thing I've never tried is uh, getting through the level by only running on the uh, the ropes on the sides of the bridge. I think I tried to get on there one time and just completely missed it and fell off. So, let's do it the old-fashioned way. Yeah, I prefer to do it the old-fashioned way. Even if it... Well, even if it induces a lot of, uh, uh, you know, pant wetting. Squeaky bum time, as we call it over here. <laughs> you know. I remember uh, watching Pro 3 Studios doing a, a marathon of uh, all the Crash Bandicoot games. And, um, I think his name was Cody. He actually managed to uh, get through all the levels without losing a life up until this level. Well, it was either this level or uh, High Road. It was one of these levels anyway, one of the bridge levels. Can't remember if it was this one or. You know. I think they get the picture. Ah. Oh! I don't really want a crate up my backside, thank you very much. But if it allows me to complete the game, then I guess I'll do anything to get by. Oh. You're sick. You better shut the hell up right now. Well, I've managed to complete pretty much every level without dying, apart from the first level. Hmm. So, I think the last time I did die, was in that bonus round. There's no doubt I'll end up losing a pile of lives when I come back to get all the gems. <sighs> Knowing my luck. <clears throat> I think uh, the gem that caused me the most frustration in the entire Crash Bandicoot series was the All Boxes gem in Cold Hard Crash. Yeah, we all know that one. <laughs> that one is a pain in the ass. Let's talk about the new Crash games, like, uh, uh, like the ones that contain the Titans. And Crash the Titans is okay, I suppose. And the, f the combat is pretty fun, but I definitely prefer the good old platformers, such as this one right here. No, I, I don't really like how they uh, change the characters' appearances in the newer games as well. I really like the fact that Crash can sort of talk. Pancakes, anyone? <laughs> yeah, I think I'll stick with the uh, woes and stuff. Onomatopoeia, yeah. Or something like that. Of 
because you can't get the old boxes gem in this one. We did the purple gem, which you get from Lights Out. And I believe that's the only level in the game which contains a coloured gem, but which also needs a different coloured gem. You know? So you get the purple gem from it, from Lights Out, but you need the yellow gem from the lab in order to do so. Don't worry, I should be able to complete the lab without any bother. It's a slippery climb I'm not looking forward to. Uh, pardon me. God. I complained about this in my, uh, Warriors playthrough. I kept burping in my last recording session. It's because I had a burger for my dinner. I had another one for my dinner tonight. Figures. Why am I not fat? Answers in the comments, please. No, don't. If you're gonna comment, just comment about the playthrough or the game. Not about my eating habits. Now, once that uh, invisible person has stopped dropping crates on that poor bandicoot, what word should I use? The cranium. We shall continue with the game. Oh no. Ah, no. What you're seeing here, guys, is a completely different recording session. Okay? Now, this is because in the previous recording session, my video capture software decided to spaz out on this level, which explains the uh, frame rate loss near the end of uh, Boulder Dash. So we're, I'm replaying this level because the the spazzing out thing or whatever it was that my that my video capture software was doing caused the uh, video's frame rate in the previous recording session to drop to a rather uh, unacceptable level. So. I didn't manage to get the all boxes gem in the last in the last attempt. So I ended up falling off near the end in a really clumsy way. Uh oh. <laughs> that was playing with fire a bit there. I almost killed that life as well. I really don't like how in this game when you reload your save it resets your lives. I mean you can tell that I had to reload my save. Of course I had to reload my safe. Not leave my PS2 on all night. Think about it. Whoa! Squeaky bum time again, eh? Now, as far as I know, as far as I remember, because I haven't played this game in a while, I don't think there's a box in that little hole in the wall. I think it's just a mask. Yeah, it better not be a box. This bit's quite annoying. Yeah. Uh, I'll just go, just go. Who cares? Whoa! I remember uh, Paul Smart had quite a few problems with that bit in his playthrough. Okay, whoa. Also, in my previous attempt at this level, I managed to get to the Cortex bonus round. And again, my clumsiness got the better of me. So, no key for me. Hopefully I'll get the gem and the key from this level. This time around. I'll show you my previous attempts at this level in an, in an outtakes clip. Which I will show you at the end of this level. And then we'll get back to the main game. is tucked in there. Good, that keeps me happy. I remember I was, whoa, I was talking about Stormy Ascent previously. You know, that uh, removed level that's uh, similar to, uh, well, it's got the same design as uh, Slippery Climb. And uh, those wobbly platforms, well, one of them at least, actually appears in uh, Stormy Ascent, but it's grey instead of brown, like the ones in this one. Which leads me to believe that all the levels in this game will have wobbly platforms hidden somewhere in the files. 
you know, they'll function the same, but they're just colored differently. <coughs> you know what I mean? Whoosh. 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 You've got it. It's fine. It requires patience. Patience is a virtue. Patience is your friend. Especially in this game. Also, one thing... Another thing I don't like about this game is the fact that when you spin, when you're moving, you don't stop straight away. There's no option to slam on the brakes. It's like a bicycle with broken brakes. Hit the brakes! Hit the goddamn brakes! Oh, I can't, because they're fucking broken. <laughs> oh. I've seen it happen in Paul's playthrough as well, but the fire comes through those platforms. I think Naughty Dog should have added some sort of a colliding option to stop that from happening. I'll show you whereabouts I died last time I played this. Oh, come on. Give me that mask. Why are you not giving it to me? Thank you. Uh, there's an ugly face if I ever saw one. And I think it was, yeah, just up, just behind these walls is where I died. No, that is not where you go. Go when all three of them touch the screen at the same time. There you go. Yeah, I died when I tried to kill the bat marker. No, don't go. When in doubt, just wait. It helps. Okay. 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 Who cares about the bats? Not me. This is simple. This one. But this next one might not be so simple. Oh. Whoa! Oh! For goodness sake. It happened again. Well, I think it's best to uh, go for the gem. But not the key at the same time, if you know what I mean. Because going for both is... Uh, suicide. By the looks of it. God's sake. Right. That really is annoying, though. <clears throat> oh, come on, Mr. Bat. Sir. Mr. Bat. Is that supposed to make sense? I don't think so. Right, screw the gem for now. Right, okay. I've forgotten how this goes. How do you do this again? Because I normally go over it. Yeah, okay, I get it, I get it. It's been a while since I've played this, you got to make allowances for me. Okay, now you can go. Go, go, go! That's easy. And this bit can be a bit of a pest. I almost sent my butt into oblivion. Ah, no, that was skill right there. Now, the only reason you're not seeing any Tauna tokens is because... I did the Tauna bonus round the last time I played this. And that's too easy. <coughs> no, then. Ah, that's annoying that. I could have gone there. See, all these wall and slidey platform puzzles are different. I think I can go now. Yes, I can. Steady. Steady as she goes. Crash isn't a she. Now then. Now don't screw it up like you did last time. I was clumsy. I was clumsy in my previous attempt. Now then, remember. Do not spin a TNT crate unless you really want to get your eyes, nose and shoes donated to charity. Whoa! Thank God I had a mask. Eh? Thank you, Cortex. What would, what would really add insult to injury is if you try to jump on the teleport platform, then you overshoot it. That really would be annoying, wouldn't it? God. Whew. Well, I guess we'll come back for the gem at a later date. 
let's just get Sunset Vista out of the way. Now then, I need to practice that jump. Yeah, that's easy. That jump is easy. I think it's easier than uh, trying to jump on the moving platforms again. <coughs> So yeah, like I said, this is a brand new, a brand new recording session. Is it just me, or is that Y splitter in my dazzle going a bit funny? Hold on, just a minute. Oh, fudge, fudge. I go away for just a couple of seconds to sort out the left audio thing in my dazzle. And then you have to fall down. Yeah. Glorious. That's the best welcome back greeting ever. Yeah. Well, excuse me for wanting to uh, keep the quality of this playthrough up to standards. Whoa. because uh, this level was at the end of my previous recording session, I, I gave my usual uh, stay solid farewell, which ended with stay solid and don't let sunset vista bite. Mm. You know you've got nightmares when uh, a level like that is hiding under your bed. <laughs> ah, now to deal with a certain eucalyptus leaves eating mutant. That's right. He's a mutated koala bear. I can't do an Australian accent, I'm sorry. Whenever I try it, it sounds like a cross between an English accent and an American accent. What about the Scottish accent? Oh, it's Koala Kong, laddie. Have a rock, Mr. Kong. I don't want your rocks. Keep them to yourself, thank you very much. Yeah, well, Koala Kong never had the stones, anyhow. Ho oh, oh. <coughs> Hey, Kong. Have a rock. You like it? No? Well, I've got two more for you, just in case you didn't like that one. I don't see the point in those TNTs. All you got to do is stand in this spot, jump up and down, or spin the rocks as well. I think that works. Of course it doesn't help this bloody trolley's going all over the place. Who's pushing all those trolleys down the track? I'm gonna sue his ass. You should be working on a mine. Did you know that Koala Kong doesn't appear in the Crash series again until Crash Bash? I think. He doesn't appear in Crash 2, does he? No. Or Crash 3. I just gave you a stony suppository. He's going to be shitting rocks for a while. Enough! This is a kid's game. No jokes about feces allowed. Now, welcome to Island 3. Heavy machinery. This is a good level right here. Then we've got castle machinery later on. Which contains that secret room. With about 30 extra lives. Only accessible with the green gem. Which I have in my possession. I'm looking forward to the generator room as well. That is quite a hard level, but it's actually... It's a quite a good level. I like it. I don't know, I just do. No, down here, right? Yeah. I remembered well. When it comes to games, I've got a brilliant long-term memory. I mean, I've got a, l a good long-term memory in general, but when it comes to video games, I'm just such a fast learner and quick rememberer. <coughs> Pardon me, and good rememberer. Ah, we haven't uh, been to a Brio bonus round yet, have we? I'm pretty sure we will in this one. Unfortunately, the Brio bonus round in this level always seems to give me the most problems. It took me a long time before I actually completed it. I don't know why. I don't, I don't know why. I just found the one in this level to be the hardest out of them all. <sighs> Go away. Let me enjoy the game. 
Yeah, well, a game wouldn't be complete without enemies, would it? Well, it depends on the type of game, I suppose. Nah. I think all games require enemies or opponents in one way or another. You keep those spikes to yourself, Mr. Robot. Oh. Ah. Perfect. Also, going back to the Green Gem Castle machinery, I noticed that, um, well, I mean, I believe that that's the only level that contains a coloured gem platform, right? And it's the only one of those in which you acquire that gem beforehand, you know what I mean? Because I think with them um, all the other gems, the levels that require them are before the levels in which you need them. You know what I mean? So I mean they're after the levels in which you need them. That's what I'm trying to say. Actually, I think Jaws of Darkness needs the blue gem, and that's after Toxic Waste, which contains the blue gem. So yeah, I think uh, Jaws of Darkness and Castle Machinery are the only exceptions. 